Here's how you can make this sci-fi hologram effect here in Photoshop. I'm gonna go with the 1080p artboard and I'm gonna drag and drop the model, scale it, and I'm gonna press Ctrl A, Ctrl C, and then Ctrl V. So this is going to reset the size in 1080p. For example, the original image is big, and as you can see, it's full vertical. And then the new one is horizontal. I'm also gonna delete the original, select the first layer with the model, right click, convert smart object, I'm also going to rename it. Let's go ahead and remove the background. I'm going to select the background layer and drag and drop some image with background. I'm going to go with this and I'm going to rotate, make some interesting composition, add another one. And now we got some interesting stuff. And I'm going to go to the adjustments, select the black and white. And I also want to make the model pop a little bit more. So I'm going to create a new layer above the black and white. Make sure you're on the black. And I'm going to go and add a little bit more shading. Now I'm going to go and select the layer with the subject and create a new copy. Press Ctrl J. After you make a duplicate, you're going to need to make another smart object out of this. So I'm going to right click on it and select create the smart object. And now I can go to the filter, blur gallery and select path blur. Here I'm going to go to uncheck the centered blur and I'm going to increase the speed nice and high. I'm also going to increase the taper quite a bit and I'm going to go to the arrow and I'm going to drag the left ending all the way out somewhere here. And by the way, you also can modify the endpoint blur with this. So I'm going to increase it. Now it's going to look even better. I think this is pretty good. I'm going to click OK. And then I'm going to go to the adjustments and select go radiant map. Let's click on it. I'm going to go to the black handle, double click on it. And here you can select the color you want. I'm going to go with the cyan, click OK. And I'm going to add another handle here, click on it. And let's go and add another color, another blue, and just fill it up. And it's going to look something like this. I'm also going to arrange the handles quite a bit. So I think this is it. And I'm going to click OK. You also can go back to adjustments, add some curves, add some contrast if you want. I'm going to try it out with this. From here, I'm also going to go and create a solid. Let's select solid color. I'm going to make it white, click OK. And also make sure that the colors are in black and white here. So let's go to filter, filter gallery. Click on convert smart object. And here I'm going to select the half tone pattern. Pattern type is going to be lines. And I'm going to decrease the lines. I'm going to go with two, contrast zero, and click OK. And from here, I'm going to change up the blend mode to overlay. I did forget a couple of steps where the model has to be colorful and the background black and white. So what I'm going to do is select the layer with the model, press and hold shift, also select the layer with the blur. I'm going to press control G to group it and I'm going to press and hold alt and clicking between the folder and the gradient. So it's going to show this arrow pointing downwards. Click on it and as you can see the background is black and white. And pretty much this was it. Thanks for watching.